everyone, thanks for coming back for another anime figure opening video today. Today I am super excited to open this EXQ Minami Kotori figure from Love Live. And oh my god, I cannot explain how excited I am. I absolutely love this character from Love Live, and ever since Love Live Sunshine started, we haven't really seen her at all. It was kind of sad and upsetting. Um, but now, because it's their ninth anniversary, that's a strange anniversary, they've decided to re-release some figures from Love Live and Love Live Sunshine together. So we're going to collect all of these. And of course, why would I not start with my old waifu? But of course, I'm talking way too much. We should get into looking at the box. So as you can see, we have our Banpresto logo there at the top and we have our Kotori here in the middle. This is really interesting because most EXQ figure boxes have a white background. This one has a full sea, beach and sky scene behind it. So I think actually that's a really, really cool design. Um, you can even see here we have our EXQ figure Love Live logo there. But um, on the sand in the background, like her sandals are there, like her foot is actually in the sand. I mean, this is really, really well designed, really, really well thought out. Uh, down here we have our Love Live EXQ figure Minami Kotori there, we have our Love Live School Idol project, and then we have Bandai. But beautiful, beautiful front cover, probably the best front cover for any EXQ figure we've ever had. On the side we have Kotori from a few angles, one from the front side and one from behind, again as is the case with most of these EXQ figures. On the other side we have, oh, oh wow, we have a full view of Kotori here running through probably the water because there's some splashing going on there at the bottom. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful picture. You could cut that out and frame that. That's really, really interesting. <laughs> wow, I like that. Okay. And then on the other side, we have Kotori from behind here, um, just on her own nice kind of blank background. And then on the back, we have all of this Japanese information. Again, what it's made of, phone numbers, warning information the lot. You can try and say that all yourself if you want to, uh, it's not very important, but there you go. Oh, didn't see that before. Customer serve inquiries are not accepted from outside Japan. Oh, interesting. Well, kind of makes sense. Anyway, so that's the back. And then on the bottom here, it's very, very different from normal because it's actually a folded bottom here, not just a flat bottom with one fold at the top. And then on the top, we just have our EXQ, Jaya Prize and Sunrise logo. So yeah, that's the top. Okay, let's open her up. Okay, and in with our knife. Three bits of tape. Oh my god, I, I seriously cannot explain how excited I am to be opening this figure. I absolutely love Kotori. Okay, and here we go. What do we have? Oh, there's a few QR codes there. I've never really seen that before. There you go. Feel free to search those for whatever they are. Uh, and inside, of course, it's cardboard. They changed the angle of this recently. It used to be a triangle. Now it seems to be this kind of rectangle shape. Don't know why they're doing that. Um, and then, oh, 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 look at her. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, just two pieces. We have the figure and the stand. Oh, and a different kind of stand too. Anyway, let's open this up and take a look. Okay, so stand. And here is the stand. And as you can see, it is just a plain white background, again, as all of these figure stands are from EXQ. But this one's a little different. Instead of having points sticking out from the figure stand, we actually have a hole going in with a foot outline. So this is where Kotori's foot is going to go in. So yeah, interesting design choice, I think. It's kind of nice to see it kind of go backwards instead of the other way. Um, but actually that foot is very, very kind of designed too. You can even see like the little dots there where her toes would be going. So yeah, cool. On the bottom, we don't have to, oh God, actually we have tons. There says there, Love Live 2013, um, Project Love Live. Wow, good Lord, that takes me back. 2013, geez. And then Bandai Spirits and then the, also the Bandai logo here. Wow, this is the most I've actually seen on here. What I don't get is why there's a B here on the back there. Maybe this is because it's the second figure. Honoka actually came out first, so maybe we're gonna see it for Umi C and Honoka A. But uh, yeah, B. Maybe B for Bob. Oh, they thought about me. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being creepy and I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> okay, and here we have the Kotori figure herself. And wow, it has been a while since I have opened one of these. She is so pretty. So of course, let's start off by looking at her face. So as you can see, she has these beautiful yellow and brown eyes. Her nose is sticking out a bit and her mouth is agape. 
Again, you can also see she has some teeth molded in there too, so that is also pretty cool. And her hair, oh my god, her hair is stunning. She has a bit of a kind of cut here at the front with uh, a few strands kind of separated. Her hair comes down into two halves here, so if we covered this, it would just have like kind of a bob cut there. Um, but she also has a little ruffle from her fringe coming up here with a little clip on the top. Again, this clip has a flower, so that's also very pretty. She has a little bit of hair coming out there. And then she has this massive strand of hair coming out here. And at the back, you can see it's all wavy. It comes out beautifully. Even here, like they've made a line here where the top part would be tied up. I mean, this is so well detailed. It's very, very impressive. <laughs> The hair itself is not as malleable as most other figures, which is good because of course we're not trying to go and bend it. And she also has this little bow at the top there holding up this top knot here, so that's also very, very pretty. Um, but yeah, wow, stunning. And moving down from her face to her body, you can see that she is wearing this green bikini. Um, this is also very, very pretty. It's very, very plain. You can see there is an outline here on the top and the sides and the bottom. Um, there's a little bit of a fold there in the middle. She has these little white bows at the top and the strap goes all the way around the back. It ties up here. You can't really see it too well because there is hair in the way. Um, but that's also very, very pretty. And you can also see that her hands are all clenched shut as if she is skipping or if she's kind of excited or scared. I don't know, this could mean many, many things. <laughs> Um, but these are also very, very cool and nicely detailed. Even her fingers have been detailed nicely there. Um, and the same goes for this hand over here. You can see that her stomach has her belly button here and this line in the middle. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's also this red splodge there that I just can't get off. Uh, some kind of problem with the painting, maybe? Um, not a big issue. Uh, you can't really see it too far. We'll just say she has early stage of measles, I guess. Oh, which is sad. <laughs> But um, yeah, her stomach, again, is very, very thin here in the middle, and then around the back she also has this line going all the way down, as is the case with most of these figures. And then she has these green bikini pants on, and again, these are very, very nicely designed, um, especially because the legs themselves go underneath the bikini. In a previous video that we opened the Rem the EXQ figure, I think, the legs were not formed very well and they kind of had like a bit of a gap. But here it actually looks like the pants were kind of made to go over the top of the legs, so that's also a very nice design. You can see she has a bow on both sides of her bikini here. There are a few folds here, so again, very, very nicely well designed there. And on the back we have the same folds here, and then just a flat surface all the way around. So yeah, her bikini bottoms are very, very pretty. And then her leg, like most of these figures, they're all in a skipping kind of fashion. So one is slightly bent, sticking out. Um, Again, if the camera will focus, her feet have also been designed with all of her toes there. And then we also have this foot over here. But what's unique about this figure is that the stand actually has the stand out point here on the bottom. So usually this is a hole going into the foot, so it's a little bit different. So let's get this into the stand down there. One second. And there we go, there she is in her stand. And actually her foot went in really, really well. It actually molded quite nicely. So clearly they made that bottom part match this top part quite nicely. Um, so yeah, that was quite impressive. So shame these are so plain. It would be nice if they had some design on them. Um, but anyway, anyway, I'm complaining now. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful figure. Again, Kotori's always great. And it's so nice to see more figures of her coming out again. Yes, brilliant. Okay, let's give you a few pretty shots of this figure. Let's take a look.
Okay, let's go and find your new home. Let's go for a quick walk. Okay, we are severely running out of space, um, so you are going to go here for now, um, next to the REM we recently opened. Um, but absolutely beautiful figure, I'm so happy that we got this. Again, Kotori is an absolutely stunning character from the anime, and it's so nice to see that they have been making more figures of her recently. Hopefully, there will be more coming out soon, so I hope to get them too. But thanks again for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We will be opening more figures very, very soon, so please look forward to those. Okay, bye!